In the ever-evolving world of entertainment, Patrick Wayne, an accomplished actor, left an indelible mark on the industry. Born on July 15, 1939, in Los Angeles, California, Patrick is the third child of the legendary screen star, John Wayne, and his first wife, Josephine Seentz. Patrick's acting career spanned over five decades, with his debut in the 1952 film Big Jim McLean, alongside his father. Over the years, he appeared in various TV shows and movies, including The Alamo, The Searchers, and Rio Bravo. However, Patrick is perhaps best known for his role as Captain Anthony Nelson in the popular 1970s TV series The Fantastic Journey. Apart from acting, Patrick also served as the president of the John Wayne Cancer Foundation, established in 1985 in honor of his father, who passed away from the disease. The foundation aims to increase public awareness and raise funds for cancer research and education. Patrick's contributions to the entertainment industry and his philanthropic efforts have earned him a special place in the hearts of many. His story is a testament to the power of dreams and the importance of giving back to the community. Patrick Wayne is an accomplished actor known for his roles in films such as Rio Lobo and The Alamo. He has had a long and successful career in Hollywood, starting in the 1950s and continuing to this day. You may know him from his work, or perhaps he has inspired you in some other way. We'd love to hear your personal stories about how Patrick Wayne has impacted your life. One of the things that makes Patrick Wayne stand out from his contemporaries is his ability to take on a wide variety of roles and make them his own. Whether he's playing a cowboy, a soldier, or something else entirely, he always brings a certain level of authenticity and depth to his characters. Do you have a favorite Patrick Wayne role or performance? What is it about his acting that you enjoy so much? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. There are many interesting facts and stories about Patrick Wayne's life and career. From his early days as a child actor to his more recent projects, there's no shortage of fascinating details to discover. So be sure to keep watching this video to learn more. Patrick Wayne, born in 1939, is the second child of the legendary actor John Wayne. His upbringing was deeply influenced by the film industry as he often visited his father's movie sets and developed an interest in acting at a young age. His mother, Pillar Pally, was a Spanish actress and played a significant role in nurturing his artistic talents. Wayne's early exposure to acting came from his father, who encouraged him to pursue a career in the industry. John Wayne's prominence in Hollywood provided young Patrick with numerous opportunities to learn from experienced actors and directors. As a result, Patrick appeared in several of his father's films, including Rio Bravo and The Alamo. In addition to his father's influence, Patrick Wayne was inspired by other actors such as James Stewart and Henry Fonda. He admired their versatility and the way they could portray a wide range of characters. Wayne's mentors included directors like John Ford and Howard Hawks, who helped him hone his acting skills and understand the nuances of filmmaking. Patrick Wayne's early life and career were significantly shaped by his family, upbringing, and exposure to the film industry. His father's influence and the guidance of other accomplished actors and directors played a crucial role in shaping his path as an actor. Patrick Wayne, son of the legendary John Wayne, was an accomplished actor in his own right. Born in 1939, Patrick started his acting career as a teenager and went on to appear in over 30 films and television shows. He is perhaps best known for his role as Nilo Porter in the 1962 film Hatari and as Captain Anthony Nelson in the 1970s television series The McLean Stevenson Show. Wayne also appeared in several of his father's films, including The Alamo, The Green Berets, and Big Jake. Wayne's contributions to the entertainment industry extend beyond his acting roles. He served as the president of the National Association of Theater Owners and was a board member of the Motion Picture and Television Fund. Throughout his career, Patrick Wayne demonstrated a commitment to his craft and a dedication to his fans. He will always be remembered as a talented and respected actor who followed in the footsteps of his famous father. Patrick Wayne, John Wayne's son, was introduced to acting at a young age. When he was just 11, he appeared in his father's film, The Alamo. However, it wasn't until his teenage years that he truly discovered his passion for acting. During his time at Loyola Marymount University, Wayne decided to take an acting class as an elective, which ended up changing the course of his life. He was cast in the lead role of a play, 
which made him realize that he wanted to pursue acting professionally. Wayne's experience working with his father on various films also fueled his desire to become an actor. He learned a lot about the craft from his father, who was not only a successful actor, but also a director and producer. After graduating from college, Wayne started his acting career in earnest, appearing in various TV shows and films throughout the 1960s and 1970s. He became known for his roles in shows like The Big Valley and Gunsmoke, as well as films like The Sons of Katie Elder and The Shootist, where he acted alongside his father. Wayne's passion for acting was ignited by his early experiences in the film industry and his time at university. He has since built a successful career as an actor, carrying on the legacy of his father and leaving his own mark in the world of entertainment. Patrick Wayne, John Ford's son and a prominent figure in Hollywood, played the role of James Anderson in the 1965 film Shenandoah. Fifteen-year-old Wayne, already big for his age, is, had previously portrayed a cadet in Ford's The Long Gray Line in 1955. Later, in 1977, Wayne co-starred with Doug McClure in The People That Time Forgot, a sequel to The Land That Time Forgot. Their on-screen partnership had begun 12 years earlier with Shenandoah. In 1976, Wayne starred in Beyond Atlantis, produced and directed by David Dakota. Known for its family-friendly content, the film was an exception in the B-movie genre, especially those filmed in the Philippines. This can be attributed to Wayne's insistence that the movie be suitable for all ages. Initially, the plan was for the lead characters to discover people living underwater, with topless scenes included. However, Lawrence Woolner, the head of Dimension Pictures, saw potential for a more ambitious project. Wayne joined the cast, and one of his conditions was that the film be rated PG, steering it away from exploitative content. Patrick Wayne, John Wayne's son, faced significant challenges entering the acting world, including financial struggles and industry skepticism. Born into a Hollywood family, Patrick witnessed the hardships of the entertainment industry firsthand. Despite his father's success, they experienced financial difficulties, which motivated Patrick to work and support his family. Patrick's road to acting was filled with obstacles. Many in the industry were skeptical of his talent, believing he relied solely on his father's fame. However, Patrick proved his resilience by continuously honing his craft and pursuing diverse roles to distance himself from his father's shadow. One notable challenge Patrick faced was being typecast due to his famous last name. To overcome this, he focused on perfecting his acting skills and sought roles in various genres, demonstrating his versatility and commitment to the art. Patrick Wayne's story is a testament to overcoming adversity and forging one's path in the face of skepticism. His determination, hard work, and adaptability allowed him to build a successful career and establish his own identity within the entertainment industry. Patrick Wayne is the half-brother of Ethan Wayne, Asa Wayne, and Marissa Wayne. He met his second wife, Misha Anderson, at a mutual friend's daughter's wedding at the Sherwood Country Club. In the movie The Searchers, Patrick Wayne played the role of Lieutenant Greenhill. During a scene with his father, John Wayne, who played Ethan, the dialogue about turning around, and the young lieutenant's thin physique was not scripted. John Wayne improvised, prompting Patrick Wayne to respond in character, I resent that, sir. These real life and on-screen moments reveal Patrick Wayne's respect for his craft and his ability to adapt to unexpected situations. His personal and professional relationships reflect a grounded and authentic individual who remains committed to his roles, whether as a family member or as an actor. Patrick Wayne, John Wayne's son, started his acting career as a teenager and gradually made a name for himself. One of his breakthrough moments came with the 1963 film McClintock, where he co-starred with his father. The film showcased their on-screen chemistry and solidified Patrick's status as a leading man. In the 1970s, Patrick Wayne became a household name as the host of the popular TV show Tales of the Gold Monkey. The series, which aired from 1982 to 1983, was praised for its adventurous spirit and engaging storytelling. Wayne's performance was well received, with critics praising his charisma and ability to carry the show. Another significant moment in Patrick Wayne's career was his role in the 1975 miniseries, The Greatest American Hero. Although he only appeared in a few episodes, his performance left a lasting impression. Co-star William Catt later commented, Patrick brought a sense of authority and gravitas to the show. 
He was a pleasure to work with and a true professional. Wayne's work in westerns, such as The Shootist and The Sons of Katie Elder, also contributed to his growing reputation as a talented actor. His performances in these films were praised for their authenticity and depth, with critics noting his ability to hold his own against industry veterans. In addition to his acting career, Patrick Wayne has also made significant contributions to the film industry as a producer and director. His work behind the camera has earned him respect and admiration from his peers, with many praising his creativity and vision. Overall, Patrick Wayne's career has been marked by a series of breakthrough moments that have solidified his status as a talented and respected actor, producer, and director. His ability to adapt to different roles and mediums has allowed him to leave a lasting impact on the film industry. Patrick Wayne, son of John Wayne, appeared in 10 of his films, with Big Jake being the only one where they played father and son. Patrick is the stepson of Pillar Wayne and has three siblings, Michael, Tony, and Melinda, as well as three half-siblings, Ethan, Asa, and Marissa. He is also the uncle of Brendan Wayne. In Big Jake, Bobby Vinton, born in 1935, played a supporting role, and he is four years and three months older than Patrick, who was born in 1939. Christopher Mitchum, born in 1943, is four years and three months younger than Patrick, making their ages remarkably evenly spaced, with the exception of one day for the middle brother, if Maureen O'Hara were their mother. Patrick Wayne's acting career spans over six decades, and he has made a name for himself outside of his famous father's shadow. His role in Big Jake is one of his most memorable, and the age difference between him, Vinton, and Mitchum adds an interesting dynamic to the film. Patrick Wayne, an accomplished actor, is known for his unique approach to his work. He values thorough preparation, immersing himself in each character to ensure authenticity. Wayne's artistic vision is deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. He often draws from his own life to add depth to his characters, making them more relatable and engaging. Wayne's acting style is characterized by his ability to convey subtle emotions and nuances which sets him apart from his peers. He believes in the power of restraint, often choosing to underplay his roles to create a more authentic and believable performance. This unique approach has made him a favorite among directors and audiences alike. Patrick Wayne's work is a reflection of his values and beliefs. His characters often embody strength, integrity, and determination, traits that he holds in high regard. He is not afraid to take on challenging roles, often choosing parts that push him out of his comfort zone and allow him to grow as an actor. In conclusion, Patrick Wayne's artistic vision and process are deeply personal and unique. His ability to draw from his own experiences and convey subtle emotions has made him a standout in the world of acting. Wayne's work is a testament to his talent, dedication, and commitment to his craft. Patrick Wayne, born to John Wayne and Josephine Alicia Seentz, followed in his father's footsteps, pursuing a career in acting. Among the theater productions he starred in were My Three Angels, Angel on My Shoulder, Romantic Comedy, Come Blow Your Horn, and Arsenic, an old lace at the Burt Reynolds Theater in Florida. Notably, he acted alongside Henry Brandon, his co-star from The Searchers, during the filming of The Searchers' Patrick Wayne, in his first important role, experienced kindness from the director, John Ford. Known for his harsh temperament and practical jokes, Ford was unexpectedly gentle towards Wayne. The young actor recalled being favored by Ford, who handed him significant scenes, even as others faced criticism. Wayne's real father, John Wayne, was present during filming, adding to the pressure Patrick fell lieutenant his fear in the scenes was genuine, as he was not acting, but actually scared. Patrick Wayne, John Wayne's son, was an actor with a career spanning over five decades. He started as a child actor and grew into leading roles in films like The Alamo and Shenandoah. Although he often worked in the shadow of his famous father, Patrick made his own mark in the industry. Industry experts and co-stars recognize Patrick for his professionalism and dedication. Actor James Drury, who worked with Patrick in The Sons of Katie Elder, described him as a fine man, a great son, and a wonderful actor. Patrick's ability to handle both dramatic and comedic roles with ease showcased his versatility and adaptability in the ever-changing film industry. Patrick Wayne's contribution to the industry includes his work on TV shows like Gunsmoke and Tales of the Golden West, where he had recurring roles. He also hosted The Rebel 
and the Big Valley for several years, demonstrating his skills beyond acting. In addition, he served as the president of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society for many years, highlighting his commitment to philanthropy. As for his influence on trend and techniques, Patrick Wayne was part of the Western genre's resurgence in the mid-20th century. His portrayal of strong, moral characters reflected the values of that time. Moreover, he brought a youthful energy to the genre, attracting a younger audience and inspiring future generations of Western actors. Patrick Wayne's collaborations with notable directors, such as John Ford and William Wellman, allowed him to learn from the best in the industry. The techniques he mastered and the stories he helped tell continue to resonate with audiences today. In summary, Patrick Wayne was a respected and dedicated actor who contributed significantly to the Western genre and the television industry. His professionalism and versatility left a lasting impact on both his peers and the audiences he entertained for decades. Patrick Wayne, son of John Wayne, co-starred in nine films with his father, ending with Big Jake in 1971. At the age of 14, he assisted the property master on his father's film Hundo. Many cast and crew members of Mr. Roberts, where Wayne played books, had military experience. Directors, writers, actors, and technical advisors served in various branches during World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Notable is Wayne's service in the Coast Guard during the Vietnam War and co-star Nick Adams' service in the Korean War. Their military backgrounds added authenticity to their roles in Mr. Roberts. Patrick Wayne, John Wayne's son and an actor in his own right, has led a life that reflects his personal values and interests outside of the film industry. He has been passionate about boating and has even hosted a television series called Treasure Hunt that aired from 1977 to 1982 where he showcased his seafaring skills and love for adventure. Wayne has also been involved in various philanthropic efforts, particularly in the field of healthcare. He has been a longtime supporter of the City of Hope, a research and treatment center for cancer, diabetes, and other life-threatening diseases. Wayne has served on the board of directors for the organization and has been actively involved in raising funds for their research and patient care programs. In addition, Wayne has been a vocal advocate for animal welfare and has supported various organizations that promote animal rights and protection. He has also been involved in environmental conservation efforts and has been a member of the board of directors for the American Oceans Campaign, an organization that aims to protect the oceans and its marine life. Wayne's personal values and interests have also informed his work as an actor. He has often chosen roles that reflect his love for adventure and the outdoors, such as in the film The Alamo, where he played a soldier fighting for Texas independence. Wayne's passion for boating was also showcased in the film The Conquerors, where he played a riverboat captain. Overall, Patrick Wayne's life outside of the film industry reflects his personal values and interests, particularly in boating, healthcare, animal welfare, and environmental conservation. He has used his platform as an actor to support various causes and has been actively involved in making a positive impact in his community. Patrick Wayne, son of the legendary actor John Wayne, turned down the role of Superman in the 1978 film due to his father's cancer battle. Despite this, Wayne built his own acting career, including a role in the Comancheros as Toad. Interestingly, he was 22 years old when playing an 18-year-old character. Another notable appearance was in The Searchers, where he portrayed Lieutenant Greenhill, a young cavalry officer at the age of 25. His performances in these films showcased his talent, making a name for himself, separate from his father's large shadow in Hollywood. Patrick Wayne, an accomplished actor, has left a significant mark in the film industry. Known for his work in westerns, he's appeared in numerous films, including several directed by his father, John Wayne. His career, spanning over five decades, is a testament to his dedication and passion for acting. When asked about his advice for aspiring professionals, he emphasizes the importance of perseverance and adaptability. The industry is constantly evolving, and staying relevant requires continuous learning and growth. He encourages young actors to be versatile and open to new experiences, as this can lead to unexpected opportunities. Moreover, Patrick Wayne highlights the significance of professionalism and respect for others in the industry. Building strong relationships and maintaining a positive reputation can open doors and lead to long-term success. 
Lastly, he encourages aspiring actors to stay true to themselves and not be discouraged by setbacks. Success in the industry often requires patience, hard work, and a willingness to take risks. By staying committed to their craft and continually honing their skills, aspiring actors can make a meaningful contribution to the world of film. Patrick Wayne, son of the legendary John Wayne, made his film debut in Rio Grande as a young boy. In the early 1950s, the Wayne family traveled to Ireland for the filming of The Quiet Man, where Patrick played a boy on a wagon at a horse race. A memorable moment from McClintock occurs when Patrick's character, Devlin Warren, introduces his mother, Catherine, played by Yvonne DiCarlo. Despite John Wayne's character's reaction, Yvonne was actually 16 years older than Patrick. These film appearances showcase Patrick Wayne's early acting career and his role in Hollywood history. Patrick Wayne, a dedicated and innovative actor, spent over six decades contributing to the entertainment industry. He started his journey as a young boy and quickly became a household name, known for his work in films like Rio Bravo and The Alamo. Wayne's passion for acting was evident in every role he played. He brought depth and authenticity to his characters making them relatable and memorable for audiences. Despite facing many challenges throughout his career, Wayne remained committed to his craft and continued to push the boundaries of his artistry. Wayne's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. He helped to shape the genre of Western films and pave the way for future generations of actors. His work has left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire and entertain people around the world. The power of creativity and perseverance cannot be overstated. Patrick Wayne's journey is a testament to the impact that a single person can have when they pursue their passions with dedication and determination. His story serves as a reminder that with hard work and a little bit of creativity, we can all leave our mark on the world. Patrick Wayne, the son of legendary actor John Wayne, followed in his father's footsteps and became an actor. One of his early roles was in the film Cheyenne Autumn, where he stepped in to play second loot. Scott after Jeffrey Hunter declined the part. Hunter's TV series, Temple Houston, only lasted one season, while Cheyenne Autumn became a classic film. In The Comancheros, Patrick Wayne played the character Tove, showcasing his acting skills alongside other prominent actors. In Donovan's Reef, he had a small cameo as an Australian Navy lieutenant, appearing briefly in a scene where he breaks up a fight. Despite his limited screen time in this film, his role was memorable for those who watched it. Throughout his career, Patrick Wayne established himself as a talented actor, creating a niche for himself in the film industry. His contributions to the world of cinema, though often overshadowed by his father's immense success, are noteworthy and worth acknowledging. If you're a fan of classic films, you've likely come across the talented Patrick Wayne. As the son of the legendary John Wayne, Patrick carved out his own path in the entertainment industry, appearing in a number of notable movies and TV shows. Throughout his career, Patrick Wayne demonstrated his acting prowess in a variety of roles. From his early days as a young cowboy in The Searchers to his turn as a futuristic hero in The Time Tunnel, Wayne proved himself to be a versatile and capable performer. One of Wayne's most memorable roles was in the TV series McClintock, where he starred alongside his father. The show was a hit with audiences and showcased Wayne's ability to hold his own on screen. Beyond his acting work, Patrick Wayne has also made significant contributions to the entertainment industry as a whole. He has served as the president of the John Wayne Cancer Foundation, helping to raise awareness and funds for cancer research. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Patrick Wayne's work and legacy? Share your memories and opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's honor the enduring impact that Patrick Wayne and other talented performers have made on the world of film and television.